This is an iPhone 6s, and it's on iOS 15. But in today's video, there is a new way to downgrade any iPhone 6s down to iOS 9. And this new way not just downgrades your iPhone 6s, but also activates it and also jailbreaks it. Oh yeah, and also lets you go through the setup. And it's pretty nice, preferred over Turtus Morella. Actually, matter of fact, it uses Turtus Morella in order to downgrade the iPhone. So, yeah, in this tool called A999, or A999 Activator, iOS 9, nine years later, A9. I'm saying it in the wrong order, aren't I? Either way, we're going to be downgrading this iPhone success down to its original version. I just restored it, and we're going to be um, going through the progress uh, process of downgrading this iPhone success down to its near original version. So if we go down to the GitHub repository here, we can see here we're going to be restoring to iOS 9.2.1. You can restore it down to 9.2, 9.3.1, 0 0.2, or 0 0.3, but those versions have an issue where um, FaceTime or, Face or iMessage don't work. Yeah, and we want the most functionality as possible. And <clears throat> yeah, the only thing I'd say it does not work on iOS 9.2 or 9.2 one is signing into iCloud in the set location. You're gonna need to do that in the settings app. But nonetheless, um, yeah, other than that, everything works, side loading works, etc. So, um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started in the down. My phone is down here, um, next in front of the Mac Mini M4. So we're gonna go into here, we're gonna select um, A999 Mac OS Universal. So we're gonna select that and I'm going to extract the folder. Um, so wait for it. Yeah, I've been doing some stuff. Oh, I have to actually cover that, whoops. Um, so I'm gonna have to cover all of this stuff on the downloads folder. There you go, it's covered, it's uncovered. All right, so as you see here, we're gonna extract the folder. And as you can see here, we're now here. So we're gonna be following the official guide. So I forgot to do this, so it's gonna be a bit new for me, but I have used this guide before. So let's go see here. So we're gonna go into the important if um, thing. Yep, all right, so here we go. So we're gonna do terror restores with no blobs. So we're gonna go here, so we're gonna do CD base, and we're gonna drag and drop the A999, or the A999 folder into here, and we're gonna go to here now, and I'm going to go into the terminal, and we're gonna po do point slash A999. As you can see here, we're um, right now, it's actually doing something of homebrew, but yeah, as you can see, this iPhone is restored to iOS 15.8.4, and this is a uh, this is the iPhone 6 that I've used multiple times, so, uh, oh, let's, um, activate that, yeah. Let's hope that, um, metal doesn't scratch. But matter of fact, I'm just gonna, even though I don't think it matters to anybody that it's there. But, um, yeah, as you can see here, it's right now doing stuff with, um, <clears throat> that. So, yeah. So, if you want to go, like, um, down this here, um, as you can see here, um, I'm gonna go actually do, like, a little window management thing, whereas I, like, do that. As you can see here, I can go do this. And this is the best um, way to do this. So I'm gonna go close these tabs. And as you can see here, this is important. So um, yeah, as you can see here, um, we're starting at iOS 15.8.4. Um, if it does not, if they have not been backed up yet. I have, I don't know if I've backed up my activation tickets, but I do know this thing is restored to iOS 15. Um, now that's gonna prompt me to um, activate my iPhone, sign to iCloud, um, if the check has been thing, and basically I'm gonna activate it. Now it's at, um, it's gonna, oh, okay, so, um, we're actually on the next step. All right, so we're gonna please con disconnect the USB lightning, a, um, USB A lightning cable for your Mac, and we connect it. We're gonna go here. You go. So I'm gonna hold this up for you guys. You go. So I just reconnected. Yeah, and also, thing rates all, oh. 2,000 years later. There we go. And now we're gonna hit enter again. Yeah, my kids. Oh, okay. So, right, two. All right. So, iPhone is activated. You're gonna use all your features on iOS nine. Your SIM card should be in the iPhone when you originally activate it and active cell surface. And we just move into the lock screen. All right. So, um, and we're gonna do no. I do not want to reactivate the iPhone for cellular features because I'm not gonna put a SIM card in this thing. I don't even have a SIM card. There's that, so, yep, there we go. We're, it's actually gonna enter into recovery mode. So if we go look at the iPhone now, it's, um, yep, as you can see, it's in recovery mode. Oh, 
now Finder is going to spam me. And as you can see here, it's now going to launch something called Legacy iOS Kit. You may have seen me use this tool before. So yeah, I want to go talk a bit more about this tool um, now. So basically, this tool combines Turtis Morella, <clears throat> Legacy iOS Kit, and their own tool and stuff, or their own script, into a single tool. And that was their mission. And basically, their plan was to also make it and automate it as possible. All right, let's go. Um, I was going to hit the stop recording button. All right, I'm going to hold the power and side buttons for eight seconds. Two, one. As you can see, we're going to hold the home button now. Let's hope it doesn't loop back into iOS. Three, two, one. And there it goes. We're in um, the a few. Yep. And by the way, in case you didn't know, yeah, this is a different architecture. This is not Intel. <clears throat> this is Apple Silicon. I've actually, in case you haven't seen my video yet, I've actually made the transition from Intel Max to Apple Silicon. So that's wonderful. All right, so we're gonna go focus on here. Actually, matter of fact, just for the users, in case anyone knows what's happened. All right, here we go. And as you can see here, it's now going to do its thing. And there it is. I think it just saved the activation tickets. Oh, it's gonna go back and yell at me about recovery mode, did that. So, you know, Finder's gonna yell at me for not restoring my iPhone correctly. So if we go here, as you can see, we're now gonna be restoring to 10.3.3 to um, resolve a few issues with recovery mode. Now, listen, if you wanna know everything you need to know, it's on this area. You can try to pause it or whatever, but it's always gonna be there in case you wanna like know more what's happening. But um, yeah, I actually did intentionally restore this iPhone down to, uh, all up back to iOS 15 just to do the tutorial because it was well requested by the JD man too. Shows him, um, as said, <clears throat> um, he asked for it and, um, you received. <laughs> so, yeah, he, I, I think he just lost his account, I think. Like, um, he told me he's been, he was actually begging me. Yeah, he, he, well, I was in a Reddit post, um, he was spam commenting me. Not in a bad way. To, on the, um, Reddit, one of the Reddit posts I posted. And, um, yeah, that's actually how I... I'm known, but yeah, I said, he's wondering, oh, dude, what the heck? Why are you shouting out Ram YouTuber? Because, see, unlike other YouTubers who only care about themselves, like mostly care about themselves, who just are humble and just, you know, sure, invite a few famous YouTubers, but never mention out fans. Well, they do sometimes, but for me, my mission is to be the most local and the most best and most public YouTuber ever. Oh, yeah, and friendly YouTuber ever. So, that's my main mission. So therefore, um, I would like to show surprise. And also, I did, in yeah, in terms of quality as well, um, I also, um, <clears throat> this Mac Mini M4 can actually handle 4K footage, and meaning that, yes, every video is gonna be in 4K. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see here, everything is um, doing its thing. It's gonna take a bit, so I'll be right back once it is done doing this. One eternity later. All right, so um, as you can see here, it's now going to um, restore to iOS 10. So let's go into, into DFU. All right, okay. O okay, um, there we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course it likes to do that. All right, and it just does that again. There we go. It's now going to oh my god, stop freaking out. Yep, as you can see it's now going to Yep, as you see we're getting the PTE. Oh actually the SHC block. Oh we're actually the block. block. Oh yeah. So there's that. Oh, I'm not gonna drop this thing with that. Yep, here it is. Finder is yelling at me once a more. And now we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go into DFU mode again. Oh. And wondering why I just skipped like that? That's why. iPhone storage full. I'm gonna have to back up my iPhone. Either way, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm filming this on my iPhone XR, I guess. Um, so that's wonderful. Thanks, Apple, for literally bloating my storage. But, um, or me. So, all right, here we go. I feel like this should be, the iPhone XR should be my, the main filming phone. Oh no. Either way, I am literally running out of storage on my iPhone 14. I'm not even exaggerating. All right, 9, 10. And now it should probably, um, did I already get the PTE block? I don't think it did. Oh yeah, I did get the PTE block. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, shut up. For the love of you. All right, there we go. Look at that. So, true story, I'm literally running out of storage in this thing, so I'm gonna probably film on the iPhone 10 hour the rest of the way. So, yep, as you can see here, it's now restoring. So I'm actually gonna go um, put this here, so everybody's not gonna do that. But yeah, I guess we can um, do a little time lapse here. Oh yeah, and it would have been the best. 
because um, 12%. <laughs> It's iOS version is not installed. We start off into iOS 15.4. Whoa. Uh, okay. Oh, come on! Okay, so latest iOS version is not installed. Um, okay, that's okay. So is this part of the instructions? One second. I'm gonna go check here. Um, let's go down here. Um, down. Oh, okay, that's weird. Um, downgrade to it's first downgrade to 10.3.3, and then it downgrades back to nine that is weird i why is it downgrading to 15 i don't know what's happening here uh <laughs> i'll be right back once this is done downloading i guess okay so i have to put my iphone to dfu mode and restore ios 15 again like why is that even necessary oh shoot i'm shooting in HD, um, 30. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. 1,000 years later. All right, switch to 4K60. should be better now. But anyway, um, right now, I'm literally erasing my, uh, some of my photos with 10% of battery. I'm not even joking. 10% of battery. All right, there we go. And as you can see here, it's not going to, um, recover. All right, kicked me back into recovery mode. What? Yeah, well, let's, I'm gonna go make a time lapse of restoring iOS 15. That'll be a better idea. I had to go upon a nice dress. So I'm gonna go sign, um, I'm gonna go set this up real quick. And the magic of video editing, it's off. So, okay, enter, enter, and uh, you can see that it's already been done. Guess that isn't magic, but uh, yeah, you get what I mean. All right, so as you can see, it's now going to enter recovery mode. And we're going to, um, now we're, I believe we're stored to iOS or not. <laughs> we're actually using with the iOS kit. Cool. <clears throat> e boy, I hope I can. Oh, okay. Now it's time to put into DFU mode. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Notice I'm in a different shirt. Yeah. That's because I have a special event tonight and I need this to hurry up. So <laughs> yeah. So let's hope it restores to iOS 10 or some iOS 9 quickly. Cause I don't think I have time to. Matter of fact, just to speed things up, I'm actually going to go, um, a new tab. Have. actually going to go into the download folder as I'm actually gonna skip this part I'll tell you guys what I did actually um it just psyched me out never mind I was actually gonna get um transfer iOS 9 point the iOS 9.2.1 IPSW from one <clears throat> from the download folder to the A999 activator folder but I guess not well though so I'll just uh I guess I'll be right back once this is done downloading man this is taking a long while all right so stupidly I forgot um, I, I was actually started on um, error dropping all the files I needed to the thing and I just saved the SHC block. I'm gonna save the PTE block soon. And by the way, I cleared storage on here. Just seems just on. Oh, there it goes. Back to the iPhone tenor. I'm gonna go. Let's go save the PTE block. I did the SHC block um, <clears throat> while I was air dropping files. Now I believe it should start getting the PTE block. All right. Now we can restore back to iOS 9.2.1. Evoy, it was actually a small download, uh, iOS 9.2.1. So uh, I didn't have much time to airdrop the file. So yeah, all right. So as you can see here, we're now going to um, start restoring to iOS 9. Well, sort of. All right. So as you can see here, is there like an option to like not notify me about, about this crap? Go. So uh, yeah, let's go fast forward this area. <laughs> All 
all right so um yeah done and as you can see we're now going back into legacy ios kit and we're going to do the thing again so we're going to all right so as you can see we're now going into qd fuel mode and also because i have an apple silicon mac i don't think it's going to be a bit harder to do this i honestly think it's going to be a bit more easier since first of all downloading ipsws will be more faster because um of my because of the ssd inside the mac mini m4 my words and basically the ssd is way more faster than the mac pro i had and also consider the fact that I've heard that the Mac Pro, the Mac Mini is a bit better in terms of like jailbreaking stuff. So yeah, as you can see, oh, okay, I thought it was gonna take a bit for a sec. But as you can see here, nope, as you can see here, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna hit enter. So yep, as you can see, we're going, I believe we're going into iOS 9. Run. <laughs> As I said, um, if you want to get to, to the GitHub page, I recommend you guys basically go into um, the link up here, um, github.com slash alex free slash a999 activator, and that's where you can find the link. Or you can look up a999 activator and look it up on Google. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'll probably forget to actually um, include a card where I tell you how to do that. I probably might be posting this video next day. Oh! Through the vibration. All right, success. Per the device, your iPhone is jailbroken. You need to enable it by going to that after a new white. What's Joe? It's me. We automatically go into recovery mode. All right, so we're going to go do that. So I'm going to go on the iPhone. I'm actually going to go cover this, actually, because I don't want anybody seeing my Wi Fi. There you go. Done. All right, so we're going to go to here and we're going to go to the website um, HTTP. Um, no, I don't know. I want to do that. Dot dot slash slash JBMA dot DDWNEO. Um, okay. All right, so here we go. I'm go to the website and it should. We should probably click on go. Doing it. Close this there and lock my screen. And here we go. So it's going to reboot. Oh, yep, there it goes. It's now going to restart. We just have to wait a bit, All right? So yeah, it's, yep, as you can see, there we go. So we're now going to um, go here. We're gonna hit the enter key. Here we go. So I think it's gonna be um, doing something, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go um, proper booting in 20 seconds. What do you mean proper booting in 20 seconds? Okay, um, let's see. So yeah, oh, it, ju it just booted again. Ooh. And uh, hello. Oh, all right. So it's gonna wait for a few seconds, and I'm gonna keep it on hello. To and there you go. Activation was restored. You can enable the jailbreak using the same website you said every time I boot. But you're done. If your phone is rebooted, it'll boot into recovery mode. You need to find. <clears throat> you need to install Turtus Morella and run a command or something like that. But yeah, as I said, as it says, I can't sign into iCloud in iOS 9.3. So that means, boom! I can finally charge my phone. All right, so here I should be the better camera this time since I am on my iPhone. Go next, disable location services. Okay, we're gonna actually I'm gonna set it up later. Continue and should yep. It's gonna ask me to create a passcode. Though I don't want anybody going into my jailbroken, freshly jailbroken iPhone. Set up as new iPhone. We're not gonna do that as the tutorial tells us to do. Create a free Apple ID. Whoops. I was like, oh, that's not normal. All right, turn on Siri later. Don't send. Choose a view. We're gonna stick a standard because. Standards the way. Welcome to iPhone. And just like that, we have a freshly jailbroken and activated iPhone. You can just go click here, see on the other side, go on the phone, and now as you can see here, it's um, going to reboot the iPhone. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, we're gonna, and we're gonna type in the passcode. And here it is. We have a freshly jailbroken iPhone success on iOS 9. As you can see here, this is a, uh, yeah, as you can see here, look at that. We're jailbroken, we can do anything we want on here. And um, yeah, as you can see here, we're actually gonna do the um, complete upgrade. Complete upgrade, confirm, yeah, I got it. This is a way better solution than um, Turtus Marilla. Um, and yeah, I got it, shout out to the guys at um, A99 Activator, or so to say, shout out to Alex Free and uh, by JB M N. <laughs> no, sorry, um, one second, I'm actually gonna show you guys his name on notes because I'm, I suck at pronouncing. Yeah, so his name is um, the J-D-M-M-A-M. -M. Yeah, that's that's his name, shout out to him. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know how many times I'm giving him shouts, but yeah, as you can see here, the yeah, this iPhone success has been a successfully act downgraded, activated, and jailbroken thanks to the help of A99 Activator. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you did, please subscribe. And actually, matter of fact, let's do an outro differently, um, the normal way.